Hi, let's see this quick uh, organizer, which is uh, compatible with Root and River Fault expansion, the retail version, from Dice Troyers. This is the first uh, tray, uh, an organizer that I have uh, in my hands from Dice Troyers. I heard a lot of good things about their quality and their attention to detail. Uh, they claim vertical storage safety, every piece in the, uh, in the insert and in the organizer stays in its slot and uh, it has uh, some very simple uh, um, operation to, to put it everything together and then you have all these different compartments uh, with uh, separate um, uh, slots and sections for each of the pieces of your favorite route. Uh, it is designed to fit into the game box, it is designed to fit both uh, sleeved and unsleeved cards. It's a pity for the inserts and organizers that they do not fit uh, uh, sleeved cards. It has 94 pieces and uh, it has seven boxes with slots for each race, one crafting tray for object tokens, 12 single spaces, one card holder for sleeved cards, 60 micron, uh, and one box for letter tokens. As well, it has one box for the winter tokens, ruins, and one box for the card holders and dice. So let's um, uh, take everything out, first of all. This, is, uh, this looks like, a, I would guess, an A3 size, if it was card. Uh, card, cardboard or something like that. So in any case, uh, I would keep that and put it in the box. It's easy to have it in case you don't remember how these are assembled, but usually you can find easy photographs and reminders at each and every um, page for the, 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 the manufacturers of those trays. Again, uh, this is an Italian design. It has all the instructions on uh, where to start from. This is the first page. Uh, this is actually, this is the fourth page. This is the, the first page, second one. So the first construction starts here. And uh, then we move to this one. Uh, that one. This one, that one, and this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to assemble it and um, I'm not going to glue anything together. I'm just going to assemble things so that I can show you how they look and then um, try to fit everything in my uh, game box. So a quick look of, uh, not the punch boards, but the, the wood pl wooden planks that they have this uh, uh, pressure, pressured uh, material that they use for this type of trays. Uh, looks very, very nice. Everything seems uh, done by laser and C and C machines so that's uh, that's important this is the second slot or section and this is the third so this fits uh, holds everything from the base game and the river fork expansion uh, they have additional material on the side that I was snooping around but uh, let's uh, let's try assemble this first of all and see how uh, it will start look like once we have some of those assembled and how they would fit in the box of uh, root. I would be fast forwarding so that we can see uh, stages of the process so this long video doesn't take too long and then I'm going to put everything together for you to have a look and come back for more discussion. So these are the two first pages, page number, actually it's two, the first one was index, number two and number three. So there are some tutorials for the beginning. Among the pieces assembled, you'll find a dice. This is not part of the organizer, but uh, uh, you can be, it can be a good starting point to practice. Okay, so it has a dice for you to, to glue. So then for, for practicing purposes, that is good because sometimes uh, you need to feel the material to see how it behaves before you start punching out and uh, squeezing things together. So it's a good that they have this type of, uh, let's say, practice kit. Uh, to, to try to make some exercise. You gently take off all the pieces. If necessary, use sandpaper to smoothen the borders. Get familiar with all the pieces and check the correct assembly sequence. Once verified the correct assembly sequence, just add a small quantity of PVA glue on every joint. That would do the, the job. So we start with uh, this first board, which is Oh, actually, that's really nice. They have also the code of the board there. So I should locate DT36A2, which is this one. Because you see, otherwise I would have started 
with the with the first one and uh, usually in this type of scenario what you need to do is you need to just take out what you're trying to assemble because otherwise it's going to be a mess and it's going to be difficult to start organizing everything also we're going to move between uh, different boards so we take this first board and we start with this highlighted section so it's this one that we're going to try to assemble first so I just try to gently take all the pieces from here out this was very easy to take everything out from here I just thought it would take more time so that's why I paused the camera in any case uh, these are the pieces so you follow the instructions and the next steps to assemble this and again I'm not going to use any glue at this stage I just want to show you how uh, it would look like in the box and I'm going to glue it separately on a second after this video so you stick everything together uh, following the instructions it's more difficult to do it close to the camera but in any case this would be something like that okay and I would put the bottom piece as well so uh, that's this section and I would also squeeze this here to make this uh, divider I would say following the instructions so everything seems to be straightforward um, in some cases you may need to put some glue I know the people who use foam inserts they usually use needles to uh, temporarily keep everything together and that's a, a good idea but you see there you go this is how uh, this section would look like and uh, it's important because it has carved in the insert at the bottom of the insert everything that it's expected to go in this uh, section so it's easy to distinguish not by just checking the you know the final picture or pictures on the side but with, with a glance you can really understand what you expect to find in here so I'm going to be placing this for the moment here and uh, start putting things together okay then I move to B I need to locate DT 36 C2 which is this board and then I need to punch out this top section and the bottom section so let's start to do that uh, only for this punch out I'm just going to keep the video camera on to show you how easy it is to take this uh, out you may need to apply a bit more uh, strength in some sections but uh, you know it's very easy it's just like taking cardboard out from uh, uh, cardboards from punch boards essentially this is really easy to, to separate and then I would also need according to the instructions I always see the highlighted in grey this one and that one you see everything with just a bit of fiddling comes out smoothly out of the corners without any pieces uh, stuck at the corners or any tear of um, the wooden pieces this looks uh, this works uh, brilliant so let's assemble that second insert is this one we follow the instructions here so all these uh, pieces used to assemble this section I've put them together easily you can see them here they are also nice uh, cravings from each side and everything even without glue uh, seems to stick and hold uh, together uh, nicely so let's put that there let's move with the next piece the next one would be taking from uh, 36 C uh, this high top right section okay let's take this out I'm doing it carefully I don't know if I really need to just step as a precaution but uh, as you can see so far I don't have any uh, issues with the result at least everything comes out smoothly and then for this section uh, I would also need 
that portion here. And of course I will have these things here uh, removed. Suppose Oops. This may need to stick again. Okay, maybe applied a bit more pressure here than what I should. So let's put everything together here to see how it will look. So there you have it. This is one of the trays. It has two compartments and it's like recessed at the bottom there to insert the pieces. Looks very nice. Everything included. So I'm placing this as well to the side so that we can continue. Then I made those two pieces uh, for cardboard and uh, wooden token that they would fit in here, placing them in the, at the side. Then I move to the section from 36A. So I have to go back to the other board and punch out uh, this whole section to proceed with preparing this. Next section is ready. Next section is ready. Again, haven't glued that down, but you can see wooden pieces here and uh, tokens there, as illustrated on this section. So nice carvings in the insert so that you can see what goes where. So let's put that also next to the rest. Moving to this piece, which uh, uses 36B2. That's the third one. And I should punch out everything from here to prepare the highlighted section here, which goes all the way there. Next compartment is this one, which has a majority of uh, the wooden pieces with space for wooden pieces and tokens respectively. So there you have this one. So moving to the next compartment, which is uh, for this faction, I need to find 36A2 and punch out this lower section over here. 36 a2 so let's do that next section compartments for the wooden uh, pieces and for the tokens as well with nice carvings on the bottom of the section so that you know what goes there as well okay next piece on 36 b2 which is this section over here so I'm going to make this one here. There you go, next piece with recessed space by putting this together and you have the next section ready. Okay, next page, I have done this. I'm going to 36.2, C2, and I need to punch out this section here to prepare this slot. Next session ready. Again, it needs to be glued for sure. We have a lot of uh, moving parts, but this is the recessed tray. Okay, then this is done. Then we move, this is done. Then we move to this section, which is punching out this little tray. And we finish with this second box. So just a matter of assembling a simple tray. That would be this one. And again, this needs to be glued, of course, because they will otherwise fall apart. Just I use some PVA glue as mentioned, and that should do the trick easily. So there you go. Oops, that's the last. So there you have it, this is the last piece. This is how the card holder 
uh, pulls together with fitting both sleeved and non-sleeved cards and that's the last compartment. So again, uh, I would advise of uh, keeping this at the bottom of uh, your box, uh, same way like we do always uh, with uh, this type of um, inserts. So let's uh, see how everything uh, pulls together inside the box. Okay, so boards at the bottom. I mean, you can do it the other way around and keep uh, actually uh, the trays at the bottom and put everything on top, uh, which will be even more safe for everything in case the lid opens. Otherwise, it's already safe. Or you can put them in between, put the board on top of everything. So uh, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's keep just the board to put it on the top. I've put uh, the player boards and the factions there. And then what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try creating uh, exactly what is described here. Okay, so this is uh, whatever you're going to put first at the bottom. Uh, the different three factions are already included there. This is a card tray, the dice, the card holder, and the, the letter numbered tokens. So as you can see, everything is there. Holds sleeved cards. Everything is fine. So I'm going to make a set, uh, insert the, the next level on top of that so that you can see. So there you go, this is everything covered, everything lays flat, everything has its own spot, uh, as you can see. And then what you do is essentially you put the board, the, um, on top of it the board inside and then close the lid and everything is in its place. Uh, I haven't glued anything uh, down, so uh, let's do the test even though I haven't glued anything down to see what's going to be the story. By the way, this is uh, the dice for practicing. I like this uh, idea. And then you see everything it's in its place no issue at all no problem at all even though i haven't glued anything down and that's uh, that's brilliant so there you have it this is uh, the organizer for root and the river folk expansion a uh, retail edition for both core and uh, the first expansion from dice drawers very very nice uh, qualitative material i would add uh, good quality good detail so i really recommend it as, uh, as an insert it looks very very practical and uh, well done. There you have it.